Police in Rio de Janeiro were seeking the arrest of six people accused of involvement in stealing 16 artworks, together valued at more than $139 million, some of which were recovered. Police said in a statement that the group stole the works from an 82-year-old widow who had been married to an art collector and dealer. The hall included museum-quality pieces from Brazilian masters Tarsila do Amaral and also Emiliano de Cavalcanti. According to the statement, the theft was orchestrated by the widow's daughter, and the daughter was among those arrested on Wednesday. Local media also showed images of a woman attempting to escape through a window as police arrived. The paintings weren't stolen in a heist, but rather through a bizarre con. Three of the artworks, collectively worth more than 300 million reals, were recovered in an art gallery in Sao Paulo. A press officer for the world-renowned museum told the Associated Press that its founder, Eduardo Constantini, purchased the works for his personal collection and possible display at the museum in the future. Italy's Coast Guard released footage on Wednesday showing a 40-meter luxury yacht sinking in the Ionian Sea. The Coast Guard said they coordinated the rescue operation in the previous days to try to tow and salvage the sinking yacht that had been sailing off the southern coast of Italy. The yacht eventually sank about 17 kilometers off the coast of Catanzaro in the Calabria region. It remains unclear why the ship sank and the Coast Guard said an investigation was still underway. All the crew members and passengers aboard the yacht were rescued. A shopping mall in the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic went up in flames on Wednesday in what local authorities said was shelling from the Ukrainian side. The mall, named Galactica, was struck at around 10 a.m. local time. A total of 20 fire brigades were mobilized to put out the fire that engulfed about 5,000 some square meters of area. Chief Donetsk firefighter Vladimir Murenkov said the inflammable types of goods on sale in the mall Tires and housing paraphernalia made efforts to combat the fire more difficult. According to Russian state broadcaster Rossiya, no casualties were reported due to the fire.